Hey guys, uh, welcome to the vlog. Uh, today I'm taking this from a different angle here and I want to um, take you on this really interesting journey, this part of my journey. Uh, this is really a milestone for me because today I will be loading 120 film for the very very first time ever. I've never shot 120 film before. I have always been shooting 35 millimeter and uh, film and I'm just really excited. Um, it's taken quite a bit of time for me to come to this point in my journey. Uh, I've been quite busy on, on eBay uh, for the last few couple months or so. Uh, just assembling my gear because my ultimate goal um, is really to start up a, a, a photo studio, a film studio. Uh, that I'm really looking forward to getting that uh, set up. And uh, the gear that I got for that purpose, and I'm gonna show you, it's really cool. And this is my super gear. And I am really excited about this. So this would be uh, my Mamiya RZ67, a medium format camera. So this is what I'm gonna be using in the studio. But like I said, I've never shot 120 film before. And, um, and so what I'm looking forward to doing today is really uh, to practice on another camera. I want to build my skills up uh, to a level uh, before I really start with the uh, Mamiya. And I'm going to show you some of my other uh, film camera purchases that I made uh, uh, in the last month or so. And first one here would be the Zeiss Icoflex and this one is a TLR, uh, the twin lens reflex camera which I got and I am really excited to try this one out and uh, but I'm not gonna start with this well the next camera I have for medium format is this is also the Zeiss Icoflex so that would be this one here and this one is actually the Zeiss Icoflex 1 and this one here is the Zeiss Icoflex 2 I got these for very reasonable prices on eBay and I just could not resist uh, just purchasing them I got some mad skills on how to win eBay auctions and I was able to win these on eBay for about a hundred dollars US each, something like that. And I'm really excited. However, I'm not starting with these. And then the uh, next medium format camera that I also purchased would be the Yashica 635 camera. So if you look here, and this is also a TLR, the Twin Lens Reflex. And uh, this one is a bit more, I guess, a bit more complicated than the Zeiss Icoflex. At least it looks so. Um, this one can also take 35 uh, millimeter film with some adapters in there. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna build myself up to the TLRs. What I'm really familiar with, really, is shooting with uh, the SLR type cameras and this one which I unboxed the other day. So this is what I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with shooting with in this with this camera type format. This is like a range uh, this is a range finder. I'm very familiar with this format. So yeah, to introduce myself to this new 120 film, this is what I'm gonna start shooting with. So the 120 film is a bit different from the 35 millimeter film because this one here has a paper backing on the film so it's a bit protected and uh, but you still don't want to really unroll it and expose too much of it um, and over here if you look here you will see this uh, inscription here which is pan film which stands for panchromatic film uh, which means that it is uh, sensitive to all the spectrums of uh, light. If, if you're going to uh, work with panchromatic, you can't even use uh, the safe lights. It has to be completely da uh, dark in, in the dark room. 
So that's what I've learned about this film. So I did my research. The, the secret about film photography is you really have to do your research and uh, it makes it a bit easier. So here I am trying to, I'm going to uh, peel this off. I've not done this before, so I'm, I'm learning <laughs> as I go. <laughs> and oh, look at that. So it peels off like that okay and this is a little thing a little tab that you pull out once you pull this out this is what goes into um, this part of the uh, of the roller okay so as the manual mentioned I'm going to flick this oh look at that when I flick this this also popped out which is kind of unexpected and uh, one of these is supposed to flatten out like that and it does flatten out okay perfect so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I guess pop this part into there is that little knob there so I'm going to pop it in like that and uh, I don't think it's quite in well I guess uh, I want to make sure that it's in properly and look what I did I just basically closed this tab on so now it's held in place so I really like the way this uh, camera is, is kind of well thought out and you flick push this down and now I can go in and pull gently because I don't want to expose too much of this and I guess I'm not sure about this I think this stays because when you're done you want to be able to use the elastic sorry the sticky part to really seal it again so I'm not going to peel it off or anything I'm not sure I'm not really sure but then again it rolls so there must be an elastic there must be a sticky portion at the end of this roll here so I guess I could you know what let me consult the manual here carefully remove uh, f free end of tape then unfold flap of back in uh, carefully remove so I guess I need to remove it so I'm going to carefully tear it off I don't think I need that and now what I'm gonna do is try and find the slot so I'm gonna move this a little bit until the slot comes into play here see the slot just comes up here and now I'm going to push this in a little bit more and what does it say? carefully align paper with a pull paper taught by given winding knob uh, several turns Oh, look. Yay. I think I did it. Look. I think I did it. Look. It's actually rolling. Woohoo. Okay, that's exciting. Now I have to close it. And I have to watch through this slot over here unwind until I see one appear and when one does appear that means that that would be the start of oh I see a line but that's not one I see a line that was not one man 
this is an kind of unnerving. I see arrows. <laughs> Some arrows just passed by. I'm not sure where is the one. What? No, I see a dot. <laughs> okay, so. So let's see, what does this say? So I see a. I don't know what that means. One, the two dots, a smaller dot, and it gets progressively smaller. And then, oh, there is the one. So that means I stopped. 